Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to create and animate a fire in After Effects. Also you guys are awesome, we just hit 100 subscribers recently. I would like to say thank you who subscribed and watched my channel. I will keep uploading videos regularly, so stay tuned for more tutorials every week. So here is an example we're going to create today. So let's jump into it. So we're going to create a new composition. and trim your composition to 2 seconds, we don't need more than 2 seconds. Hit Command R to bring the ruler. And we're going to draw a droplet with a pen tool. And try to use a light yellow color for this. And make sure the droplet is straight. Okay, so the first effect we're going to use a wave warp. And we're going to modify the anchor point to the bottom. So it should be on the bottom. We're going to modify the details for this wave warp. So it should look like this, like a swimming fish. So duplicate this layer and we're going to modify the second one. So I'm going to stretch it, make it thinner and more taller. And also I'm going to flip the wave animation on this one with a minus. So it should look like two swimming fish at the moment. Next one, select alpha mat for the lower one. And basically it's going to use as a mask. And it's now, as you can see, it's like a small fire. And pretty much from this point we're going to use our base fire to duplicate it and modify the, the copy to make it a bit smaller and shift it in time. Use your base fire to build basically any type of fire. So I'm going to duplicate it again. And shift it to the right side and also you can play with reposition the droplet a little bit left or right as you can see. And you can create a bit different fire each time. So at the moment it should look like this. Once you have your fire finished, we're going to create a base fire for this. So make sure the base is not use any matte mask. Just use the base web warp animation for this droplet. So the reason for that, so we're going to create a little bit of core for the fire, so and cover the little bit of gaps there. So the next step, we're going to pre-comb the whole fire. I'm going to use a mask to cut 
the lower section of the fire and invert the mask. Now it should look like this. So the second thing we're going to use glow. Grab it and drag and drop your pre-composition and modify the glow radius to 60 and basically your fire is pretty much good to go you can use tint effect to tint your fire to a different color but pretty much that's the basics of fire animation in after effects hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and please subscribe for more videos like this you can follow me on twitter or instagram if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me until then see you guys next time